Guten Tag YouTube, this is Lightning Flash here, and I have a, th um, a kind of retro piece of machinery. It is a 1985 Smith Corona SD300. Spell right, too. That's uh, something it has you know, here. And let me flip it on here. So, you know, your typical typewriter. That's normal and does that every time. Um, you know, it's a typewriter that has an electronic keyboard. Um, see some dust. I need to clean it a bit. Some of the labels have been scratched. But the only thing that's really wrong, you know, with other than some can't see under there, minor cleaning and little minor rust. Uh, it works just fine. I've been uh, testing and I have a bunch of pages that I've been just doing stuff with and I'll explain why the text is crooked in a second. Now the only other thing that's wrong with this so far that I've seen is this key which is I believe the index key which I don't know what it is but it's constantly being pressed right now so that might be one of the problems I have with a certain thing. Um, so other than you know you have your power in the back and a switch, obviously, but something that's really interesting and that's explained in the manual. Um, this can be used as a printer, like a physical printer. Hook it up to a computer, you know, not a Windows 10 computer, but a computer that you would have in the 80s that has a compatible port that looks like this. And that's a parallax port or something. It's in the manual. I have to read it again. And, you know, other than the key and a couple of little, you know, two labels that are bad and a bit of cleaning that I have to do, you know, might be some cleaning under these keys, whatever. Um, it works just fine. I tested all the keys before. They work. Now, a couple of things that I have noticed. Um, you have this KB on off which is the keyboard and it has three modes. Me uh, I'll get to memory in a minute. Type which is it types as you type so it's going to function as a normal typewriter. Line which is you know, here. That's still in file because I have to turn that back on. Yeah. Okay. Let's address that in a minute for a second. That's why this text is like that. So if I turn it back on, it just goes through it. So I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if that's because of the That's because the switch is constantly being pressed. So when you turn the keyboard off, it will it'll ignore anything that comes through this, you know? It'll ignore it. But when it's in memory, it also ignores this because this is for a typewriter. It being used as a typewriter. So, again, uh, KB1 and 2, I don't know what that is. I guess it's different configs for the keyboard. I don't know. I haven't noticed a difference. But let's go through these three for a second. Type, obviously typewriter. Line, you're gonna edit a line here before you print it. You know, you can proofread it so you're not doing that correction thing. You know, oh, I have to correct something or whatever. And then memory, which is something interesting. Turn the keyboard on. It says file on the little screen in one to eight. Focus. So in the manual I was reading, each of those little files, this can store eight different files with up to 3,000 characters per file. Like 3,000, 3K is the highest. So you know you can have up to 24,000 characters if you want to split your thing up into different pieces. Now, another thing, I don't know if bringing the light over here will help, oh it does. You'll see one, two, and three, files one, two, and three have a line. 
That's because they have, they're both, they have something stored on them, and they've been edited or printed or changed recently. And we'll quickly, we'll just press one. So to get to each file, you just go one to eight, and you have print, edit, or erase. The little underline is which is going to happen: print, edit, or erase. I don't want to do that right now. Um, when it goes through edit, it says you want to change the margins in case you've changed them, and you can just say no, whatever. Excuse me. Um, it's at default 12 and 72, but I've set mine over here so I can put my piece of paper over here instead of having to put it in the middle, which is something else I've noticed. There are different settings for different size pages. You know, here I have a page eight and a half matches up in between, kind of hard to show this, both of the eight and a halves. So then, so an eight and a half, if you put it in correctly, Crap. We'll start. That's why it has the 12, and oh, I don't know why it has the 72. That must be a different page. But 12, oh, you'll have to change it to maybe I don't know, 15 or 20 if you want an inch. So you can change them to whatever you want, and you do that with this little margarine and code margarine does right and you just put it in type space to space to wherever you want that little green light is showing its position so it's position here so roughly you know two or three and over here it's three actually oh I was correct okay anyway so you know there's a little contrast dial here contrast dial Oh man, that makes it a little bit better. Okay, so um, right now, I don't know what any of this does right now. I haven't read the whole book yet, um, but I thought that was cool. So I know what's wrong. It's this. So I'll, I'll show you again. See? See, watch. Press it. So that's why. Yeah, I'll have to find some way to prop that up but until I get a spring and another key for it, which I can probably find fairly easily. So I haven't done much research. I got this a couple hours ago and I wanted to do a little video on it, but I don't know too much about it right now. I'll post another video with some more stuff. Uh, while I'm cleaning it, you know, while I'm cleaning, I can say, you know, hey, I figured this out. And maybe we'll look inside of it to see what's what. There is a rechargeable battery, though, because uh, it's not in typewriter mode. There. On format. Keyboard on. Format. It has these little formats. Which the first set, or the first arrow is... Uh, it's normally on off, but it's on 11. So there is a battery that will save these settings. Certain ones. Some may go back. So, um, oh, actually it just says la end of page. So it's basically going to warn you with a couple of beeps. You're at the end of a page of a, either 11 inch or a 14 inch page. You can turn that off in case your page is eight. If you have the eight and a half by 11 here, obviously, that's 11, not this. So it wouldn't really work. Pitch, no idea what that does. Line, still have no idea. And impression, still don't know what that means. I'm still reading the booklet. It's not too big. But, you know, it's a nice little thing. And then you got your page release. That, the guide. If you notice, the page wants to come like this way and fold onto it. You do this, boom, done. Um, you know, advancing your lines. This is your spacing, I think. I said what KB on and off. Got to, but yeah. So that's really much it. Let's see this in operation. Go out of format. Uh, 
I put it to a th three. A three. Oh, I just noticed this too. Certain ones say A three and A four. Yes. See that? How that the A three looks like an upwards rectangle, and A four is a sideways. That's the uh, page orient orientation. Don't know what I tried saying there. Of the page. Now. There. Normally, I'll pull this a little bit. Okay. So let's do file. Let's do file one. Print. I also noticed that if you want, if it stops, do code P. Oh crap. Boom. Boom. Yeah, um, there might be some small keyboard problems. I've noticed, like, with that code P, I had to do it a couple of times. Let's do two. Watch. See? Press. See? So. There. So, you see, this is a bunch of tests, and... You know, there's not too much that's going wrong with, like, printing. Like, if I, you know, get in a little bit. You can see those characters are pretty solid. There's not what happened earlier. I had a couple of characters kind of mess up. That could be just the ribbon or the dirt. I don't know. Dirt on the page? Probably not whatever it's gone now hasn't happened let's print two again oh i was gonna see if i could get the uh printing process maybe oh yeah So yeah, um, like I said, there, I'm probably not going to do much with that. Um, yeah, and I finally figured out what was wrong with it constantly rolling to give, where'd that page go? Give the result of this. Well, this. So I guess that index key advan ooh, advances it. See, and also this is what I mean by that. So you put the guide up, but I just wanted to put it in here. Go away. So yeah, I guess it's just this key being the typewriter is registering me just holding this key down. So it's doing this, I guess. Okay, that, that figured out. I'll do a little solution to that. Probably gonna look ghetto. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't even know how I'm, how I would fix that. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, my new typewriter. Got a bit of cleaning. I'll do that in the next video. This is long enough. I've been rambling probably for too long. Anyway, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe below if you are new. And my next one will be me <clears throat> cleaning. That's the word. And possibly getting into it for a little while. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.